welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about swimwear and accessories, swimsuits, cover-ups, sunglasses, jewelry, and things like that. In my last video, I did my spring collective haul where I showed you guys all of the stuff that I've gotten for spring clothing-wise, and I mentioned that I would do this video. So here it is. Hope you guys enjoy it. It's going to be the same format where I'm just kind of going through walking, showing you the outfits in movement, and um, if there's any blurbs I need to make, I'll just add it in there or I'll put it in text but I'll also make sure to add all the links for you guys in the description down below but these are just outfit ideas for a beach vacation um, we're going on one soon but also we have a pool so I just also still like to look cute even if it's just in our backyard um, so hope you guys enjoy this video and let's just begin Alright you guys, so for this last part of the video, I'm just going to go into accessories. I'm going to do a talk through for this part. I'm going to try to make it just straight to the point, quick and easy. Starting off with jewelry. So this is a new Miranda Fry ring. Again, if you guys are new here, I have a code. It's just Naomi for 10% off Miranda Fry, any of the items on their website. So that's new. I've been into rings a lot lately. Um, and then I have this gorgeous bracelet that I feel like is perfect for a beach vacation. It's going to go well with your, all your bikinis as well as like your outfits for going out and dinner. And then I also got these really thick and chunky hoop earrings, which I have been searching high and low for. Um, I think these are by the brand Oma the Label. Don't have a discount code for that. Um, I will warn you, the quality on these is not as good as I expected it to be, but... I find it really hard to find earrings like this, this size and this thickness without it being like thousands of dollars or really expensive because it's like actual real gold. I wanna share with you guys a new beach bag that I got. It's by the brand Cult Gaia. So this is something that is a couple hundred dollars, but I feel like it's gonna be so versatile because this chain comes off and then it becomes a cute little clutch bag kind of reminds me of like the Bottega Veneta um, pouch bag when it is used as a clutch but I love that they added that feature where you can take the chain on and off because it brings a whole different vibe and element to the bag so 
I think it's worth it. A couple jewelry items that I forgot to mention. Here's another earring by Jenny Bird. I love how it's super like sculptural and thick but small at the same time. And I feel like if you're on vacation or just anywhere, it doesn't have to be vacation, and you have your hair like in a slick bun or a slick ponytail, these are really cute just to show off. And they're so unique and different. And then lastly, I got a pair of these fun dangly earrings. These are also just like sculptural and different. And this is just perfect for like dinner. If you're wearing like a fun outfit or even a simple outfit, this would be like the showstopper and really cute if you have like your hair up again so that you can show these earrings off but i thought these were super fun and really cute all right next portion is going to be all the new sunglasses that i have gotten um if anything sunglasses are the one thing that i feel like i can never get enough of even if i don't need another pair it's like oh my god they're so cute i have to have them so Let's start off with like the more inexpensive pair. So this is a pair by Key that I have been loving. This style is really nice for more casual looks. Also, if you wanna make a look a little more edgy, this is really, really nice. And then this is a new brand to me. It's the brand Vela. It's a similar style to the one I just showed you. I just love how the frame is a little more on the green side. Um, this one, I feel like I have to use lower on my nose because I feel like my face is a little bit wide. But if you wear tan things, if you wear green things this um green lens really goes nicely so like the green items that i showed you guys back there um this goes really well with but i also just think it's a fun casual sporty and edgy pair of sunglasses all right next is by the brand Les specs this is very cat eye and i wanted like a cat eye that was very like pronounced um, but also kind of like casual at the same time. So I love how they're very pointy. I don't know. I kind of have a love hate with these. I love them and I hate them, but also they're not that expensive. So I also love that detail that it gives like this gold up top. Um, but yeah, I feel like for the right outfit, this is perfect. Here is another cool pair, which is just really like retro i love the red pinkish lens right here which these were actually gifted to me and i wasn't sure how they were gonna come out or turn out but i actually really really love them they're like kind of j-lo vibe like very miami it's also rimless at the bottom so i think that's really really cool here is a close-up in case some shadows were showing up so this next pair is by the brand of velvet canyon another new brand to me but i love the shape and i love the colors of the tortoise i don't have anything like this usually the tortoise shell frames that i have are like a darker pair but this is nice because it goes with all the neutral tones and also like the chocolate browns and even blacks and i think this is just so gorgeous and so unique here is a pair we're getting more into the pricier sunglasses this is by the brand loewe and this is also like in a tortoise and this is what i mean by i have like darker tortoise shells but this is kind of reminds me of the Celine brand of sunglasses just really well made just fits really nicely in all the right places the weight of it the security of it on your face it's just sometimes you know you just pay for that I don't know I think some sunglasses can be overpriced this is definitely pricey but at the same time once I put it on I always like remember like why I love it and why I bought it and this is definitely like a really good everyday so if you do wear it every day then it is worth the money but I love these so much lastly these are Bottega Veneta sunglasses these are definitely a spoiler and I just was not sure because they're also green um, and I know that green color has been trendy I've kind of just been waiting to see if it was gonna die out but it's going nowhere um and also the like pistachio green color lime green color that i've been obsessed with matches this really really nicely but also i just really love the shape of these sunglasses the size and the width and the height is like perfect it's just all around a good pair of sunglasses so if you don't like this color they have you know everyday colors like black and i believe brown it's like the perfect square it's also the perfect cat eye it's also like kind of overly in a way so it's like kind of all the shapes i feel like they'd go well with pretty much any face shape all right guys that is it for this video if you guys want me to continue on with these kind of like hauls and seasonal videos and let me know i do have a spring capsule wardrobe planned um for my next one or my next couple videos um otherwise let me know if you enjoyed it in the in the comments down below also check out the description box if you need links to anything i will link them for you there thanks so much for watching see you in my next video